Hey guys, welcome to July and the July Purpose Driven Essentials Bible Journaling Kit. They also call it their PDE Mini Kit because they have a larger kit that's more geared towards family activities. And this is geared for um, more personal one-on-one -on -one Bible journaling. So let's see what's inside. I love, love, love this company. They have um, this beautiful branding in their boxes that's super pretty. They have some things that, um, the boxes are never the same from month to month, but they have similar components from month to month. So I'll kind of, I'll show you those. They include a packing list so you can know what's in your box and look for it. Then they also um, write up a story about um, why they've chosen these things to go together and how they're kind of, uh, if you want to use an inspiration for your heart that's based on what their heart was in creating these kits, um, you get that explanation there. Uh, this, you get more information about what their, um, uh, kind of why they do what they do, which is really cool. And then one of their cute little business cards. I love their branding. It's kind of all old fashioned and super cute little card. Okay, so we've got um, we've got kind of an extra little bonus in this month's kit that I noticed. Um, she always, uh, the woman who curates these boxes, Michelle, always throws in a treat, which is super fun. And um, this one, we've got a treat, it looks like a treat to eat, and a treat to use um, just to take care of ourselves. This is, it says a Fruity Blast lotion bar, um, which I will try after I um, record this video. I actually totally want to try it. It's all natural ingredients, and let me show the company it's from. So if you guys want to try it, um, it's Kissed Organics, Inc., and um, you can see they've got an Etsy shop called Kissed Organics, Inc., but they have an X in organics. So you can check out what they do. Um, but this is, yeah, a little chunk of a lotion bar. I've never tried a lotion bar. So it feels like a chunk of soap, um, but it's made to be a lotion. Maybe we'll dig that back out at the end of the kit and give it a try. Um, okay, and then sweets from Raya's Sweets. Uh, there's always something good in the boxes that are hard to resist. This is so super cute. I love old-fashioned looking lollipops like you get at an old-fashioned candy store. Love that. Super cute. Um, then we, uh, this is one of the components they always put in the kit is a CD of Christian music. So if it's one that you already have, it makes a great gift to pass on. But so far, I have not had any of the music that they've sent. And so it's, um, but I've heard of all the bands they've sent. I just have never gotten their music. Um, yeah, even the third day one where I have almost everything, um, I happen to not have the CD of the one that they sent. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Um, so this uh, this month it's Ta uh, Hawk Nelson and their album Made. And I will not waste time playing with shrink wrap for you guys. But anyway, I will be uh, taking a listen to that. I'm excited about that. All right, then this kit is a lot of ephemera and things you can glue in your Bible. Um, there's always specialty items that come in your kit that are made um, for our Bible journaling process. Um, there's always a devotional. There's always a new Christian, well, new to me anyway, new, a Christian book um, and some kind of art supply. So these, it covers all the bases. I just think these kits are amazing and they don't charge shipping. <laughs> I love that because nobody likes to pay shipping. Um, so these are little washi strips that are super fun. Let me show you. There's, um, there's little maps on them and they're super cute. So they just have a sticker backing. So instead of washi tape, it's just little strips and you can put them in. You could put a title on your page with those. You could put them down the side for decoration. Um, there's all sorts of fun stuff. So I will be playing with those for sure. I really, really like those. Um, and then there's a pack of journaling cards, which are so cute. You could make them into a mini book. I often do that. In fact, last night I was doing some artsy stuff with some uh, print and pray shop items from Illustrated Faith that I printed out for her. 
and she and I made little mini books with um, this, with just cards like this and washi tape. That was super fun. So you don't even need a hole punch if you don't want, like, um, but you can also put these as a tip in in the margin of your Bible so you can write on the back of them and have this beautiful image. I love this map theme that's going on. So I can't wait to get into the devotional. I've come to really love um, the devotionals because they're just deep enough to make you think, um, but they're not so intense. Like you, It's not like you have to sit and sit down and like spend hours wrapping your mind around it and they're all scripture based so it's just really awesome so then there's two packages of ephemera which is wait oh these are stickers <gasps> I thought these were both ephemera these are stickers oh very cool all sorts of goodies here a uh, little tag, go with God. Yeah, there's obviously a travel theme going on here. Uh, go into all the world and preach the gospel, coffee and service. These are super cute. Um, oh, some hands, some little kids uh, saying here, I will go, Lord. Here I am, Lord, wherever. Oh, so there's cute, cute stuff. This is, um, this verse is actually my family. Our life verse, um, be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Oh, and look at these cute little kiddos. And hands. And little girl. Oh, these little kiddos are adorable. Holy cow, those are so cute. On this fun little typewriter font. A Bible, little feet. Okay, these are all stickers. Wow, these are super cute. Ooh, oh, there's little praying people too. Oh, love that. I'm gonna make a mess here, man. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have to put this all back together so I don't lose any of it. This is a lot of stuff, you guys. This could keep you busy for more than a month, honestly. Um, this is really quite a bit of gear to play with. Really fun. So what I do is if I have extra ephemera, I use it in my planners. I use it to make um, cards and I use it in art journaling. So invariably there are things in kits that you just don't get to or weren't your top favorite pieces or you just didn't find a way to incorporate them that month, you know, with the way you were thinking through the Bible and all that kind of stuff. And so that's how I use extra ephemera pieces. I kind of make it a challenge to use them all. And I love making cards because then you can send them off to people and, um, you know, just brighten somebody's day. So these are, um, pieces that are cut out of paper for you. Super cute. And this company, while we're looking through these, let me tell you a little bit more. This company takes pre-orders because it's, um, these are pre-ordered kits because they curate them. Right now they're curating um, future boxes even as we speak. Um, and they take subscriptions up until I think the middle of the month. So I think you've got about two weeks uh, from watching this, if you're watching it on July 2nd or 3rd, um, you've got about two weeks till the middle of July to order the August kit. And you can always go on their website, Purpose Driven Essentials, um, to see if there's still time to order or if there's a back kit available. Um, so if you liked the June one with the stamp set but you never got it, you can go onto their website and see if there are any available. They try not to keep um, very many in stock. And I think that's honestly, it's a bummer if they run out of something you wanted, but it's a really smart business model and a really good way to uh, utilize their finances. So I totally support that, even though, you know, kind of on-demand ordering would be nice. Um, it's just, this is a much smarter way to build a business, I think, because um, carrying loads of inventory, holy smoly, smol holy smoly, I don't even know what that means, holy smoly, but that's cute. It means that's cute. <laughs> I really actually want one of these in real life someday. I'm dreaming big, guys. I want one of these. Okay. So, actually, as we speak, I'm sitting in my sister's camper. <laughs> it's our guest room. Um, so, I'm just sitting here in the camper showing you guys what's up. Because um, I wanted to show you this kit. In case there's a couple extra and you wanted to order it real quick. Um, oh, and these are just words you could cut out. I love adding words to the margins of my Bible. 
so yeah so um they accept uh and it's it's not a subscription box company so you don't get locked in you don't have to like subscribe um you can subscribe but you don't have to subscribe to order their kits so you could order one and then um decide if you like that one and want to order again or not but um you can also sign up to order uh perpetually i believe and then um you don't have to worry about missing a kit or a deadline to order i try to email everybody who's on my email list and tell them when to order um or I try to put it in the show notes or something like that um, so that you guys know that you're coming up against the deadline to order from them. Um, but just in case, you probably want to get on their mailing list too at PurposeDrivenEssentials.com um, if you want to make sure you don't miss a beat. So this month, there's this beautiful... Oh, this is a new writer. This isn't the writer they've had before. So this will be fun, a new writer. Um... And it, these are just beautifully laminated cards. This is really cool. And so there's a lesson, uh, a lesson and a prayer and a scripture for all of these. And then you can write out your journaling either on the back of these or in your Bible or in your art journal or wherever you want. These are beautiful. God bless you in your missional journey and may you witness to many in the name of Christ. That's really pretty. Devotions for mission. And um, I'm guessing they're going to say that we missions don't just mean like going to Africa. Um, I used to think it was just you had to go really far away from home, but you can be a missionary to your neighbor by loving them and caring for them um, or a friend or somebody who's in the hospital. Um, that's awesome. Oh, and we got a gelato. I will definitely show you guys how to use those and the trick that you can do to uh, be able to write over the top of them. I will be, I will show you that again, cause they're waxy and don't try to use regular pens over the top. It'll ruin your pens, but I've got a trick. I will show it to you. Um, there's also a video in my list of videos here on YouTube. That's how to write on top of gelatos. So if you want to catch that video, it tells you how to do that and then there's um colored pencils in super pretty colors and a little bag to carry all your ephemera in which i will be packing that up for sure and this book called uh kate by kate motong i don't know of her it's called a place to land the back um i was reading kind of the bio and all that kind of stuff and it sounds really interesting because it's she talks about the challenges of being a missionary all over the world and having an unpredictable life and I think a lot of us kind of romanticize being a missionary um, and so it'll be really interesting to read that now let's see if I can get this open real quick and we'll just try it out right here right now because why not Ooh, it smells really good oh yeah but not strong it's not um, like some sense give me a headache um, so it's a little chunk, and I'm guessing, here, you just rub it on, my hands always get dry, so we're going to try hands here and see how that feels. Okay, I'm picky about lotion, guys, so we'll, this will be interesting. Okay, it's a little thicker than I normally use on my hands, but I might try it on my feet. I will spare you those details. And on that note... We are done with the July kit. This is going to be super fun and exciting, so stay tuned and see these products um, as they show up in my Bible. And tag me on Instagram if they show up in your Bible too. I can't wait to see what you do. And we'll talk again soon. Bye.